And spotted in the sky in southern New England as well. The comet was visible in Rhode Island last night. Take a look right here. This is a photo sent in by an NBC10 viewer. This happens about once every 80,000 years, so this is really our only chance to see it. Will conditions hold up tonight? That's the big question. The other big question is, what is this comet called? I was told by Mark that you would take a stab at it. I will take a stab at it, but I'm going to at least let you look at the name first, and then I will have you take a stab at it, Do you have a graphic with yes. it? Oh, oh, God. Yeah, that's a funny one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to Chinshan? To oh, that was not too bad. So I was, <laughs> according to at least Google Translate, uh, the T is silent, so it's Su Shin Shan. Sushin. Yes. And it, Sushin Shan. Yes. Say and that it, five times fast. I couldn't. Uh, that's why I had to say it very slow. Uh, translates to Purple Mountain uh, from Chinese to English. Let's and, just call it that. Yeah. Well, good morning. You may have heard a bit about Comet A3. It's something we won't see for another 80,000 years, and it is in our evening sky. You can still see it. What is a comet? It's basically a large object that's just made of a ball of dust and debris, and it has a frozen solid core to it. As this orbits the sun, it's getting pulled by gravity toward the sun, and as it gets close to the sun, some of that ice in the core of the comet starts to uh, turn into gases, and those gases are blown by the solar wind from the sun, causing a tail to form. And that's why it has that look to it when you see it in the night sky. We've been getting some beautiful photos of this from not only our KRCG weather watchers, but also on our Chime In page. And take a look at this. This was taken Sunday evening by Tiffany Peters, uh, taken near Lynn. Here's the tail of the comet, and here it is. Notice it's low on the horizon, and that's where you will see it again tonight. I have another photo I want to share with you, taken by Pam St Stewart at Higby, and this was yesterday evening. And you can see again, very familiar. Here's the core of the comet, here's the tail, and it's just something really cool to see in the evening sky. So if you do want to view it, you got to get a good view of it uh, on the horizon. If you have a lot of trees blocking, you may not see it. So you got to have a good, clear western horizon, as seen here by Gina Martin. There are the trees, there's the tree line, and you can see it's pretty low. Uh, but some beautiful photos send into us on that comet. Here's a look at where you can see it tonight. It's getting a little higher in the sky each night, but look just after sunset, 45 minutes after sunset toward the west, and you should be able to see it with the naked eye, but a pair of binoculars, it makes it much more spectacular.